Magandang araw, ako pong muli si Imelda B. De Guzman at ang topic ko po ngayon is about characterizing and describing the roots of the quadratic equations. Muli, ihanda ang inyong notebook at ball pen upang isulat lahat ng mahalagang konsepto na aking babanggitin. Okay class, let us first have a review on determining the A, B, and C of quadratic equations. Okay, if you still remember, A, B, and C are the real numbers from the given quadratic equations. So, let us try these examples. Okay, first we have x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay, so A is 1, B is 4, C is 3. Okay, next we have x squared minus 6x plus 9. A is 1, B is negative 6, C is positive 9. Next, we have x squared plus 2x plus 3. A is 1, B is 2, and C is 3. Okay, so tandaan yan class at gagamitin natin sa ating lesson. Okay class, simulan na natin ang ating lesson. How to determine the nature of roots? To determine the nature of the roots, we use the quadratic equations discriminant b squared minus 4ac. Do not forget that, class. We're going to use the formula b squared minus 4ac. Okay. Ilan ba ang nature of the roots ng quadratic equations? We have three. We ha First, we have real and equal, real and unequal, and lastly, we have not real. Okay. So, paano natin malalaman yung nature of the roots? By looking at the discriminant. So, if b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, then the roots are real and equal. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then the roots are real and unequal. If b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then the roots are not real. Okay, so do not forget that class. Pakikopya ito sa inyong notebook upang inyong matandaan. Let us try this example. So, find the nature of the roots of the equation x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. First, we're going to find the a, b, and c of this equation. So, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 3. Okay? So, to find the nature of the roots of this equation, we're going to use the formula b squared minus 4ac. Okay? So, let us evaluate. So, paano tayo nag evaluate We're going to uh, uh, substitute the corresponding values doon sa ating formula. So, we have B. Ang B natin is 4. So, it will become 4 squared minus 4. A is 1 and C is 3. So, we have 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3. So, let us now uh, solve. So, 4 squared, that is 16. 4 times 1 times 3 is negative 12. 16 minus 12, that is equivalent to 4. Okay, as you can see, class, our discriminant is 4. Okay, so, ano nga ang magiging nature of the roots if our discriminant is greater than 0? So, this means that the nature of the roots of the equation has two real and unequal roots. Okay. So, paano natin mapapatunayan na this is really true? So, we're going to find the solutions of this quadratic equation. So, there are different ways ha, to find the solution. We may use the quadratic formula. We may use the completing the square or extracting the square roots or using factoring. Okay. So, try natin yung factoring class kasi ito yung pinaka madali at mabilis. So, get the factors of x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, we have quantity x plus 3 times quantity x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, we're going to equate the factors to 0. So, we have x plus 0 is equal to 0. Then, x plus 1 is equal to 0. Using the transposition method, we can get the value of x. So, we have x is equal to negative 3 and the other one is x is equal to negative 1. As you can see, class, we have different roots. 
the, the first one we have negative 3 and the other one is negative 1. So, tama class. Tama yung ating discriminant if for if uh, if the discriminant is greater than 0, then the nature of roots has true, real, and unequal roots. Okay, let us try another example. So let us find the nature of the roots of the of the equation x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. So first, let us determine the a, b, and c. a is 1, b is negative 6, and c is positive 9. Okay, do not forget class, lahat ng mga numbers na yan ay kinuha lang natin doon sa ating given quadratic equation. So, we're going to use the formula b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so by substituting all the corresponding values to our formula, we have now negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9. Then solve, we have 36 minus 36, the discriminant is equal to 0. So as you can see class, if, if the discriminant is equal to 0, the nature of roots of the equations are real and equal roots. Okay, so paano natin yung mapapatunayan? So kunin muna natin ang roots of x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0 using factoring. Okay, so quantity x minus 3 times quantity x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so let us equate this factors to 0. So we have x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. By transposition method, we get the values of x is equal to 3 and another one is also equal to 3. So as you can see, we have the same roots. So therefore, if 0 is our discriminant, ibig sabihin, the nature of the roots are real and equal roots. Next example is we're going to find the nature of the roots of the equation x squared plus 2x plus 3 equals 0. So first, we're going to find the a, b, and c. Okay? So a is 1, b is 2, c is 3. Lahat po ng numbers na yan are real numbers na matatagpuan natin sa ating given quadratic equations. Okay? Using the formula b squared minus 4ac, makukuha natin kung ano yung ating discriminant. Okay, so by substituting all the corresponding values of a, b, and c to our formula, we now have 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3. So, by solving this, we have 4 minus 12, and that is equivalent to negative 8. As you can see, class, our discriminant is negative 8, which is less than 0, Therefore, the nature of roots are not real. Okay, so let us now find the solutions of the given quadratic equation x squared plus 2x plus 3 equals 0. So, we're going to factor x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. Try nyo nga, class, kung meron kayo makukuhang factors nito. Okay? So, this means that the given quadratic equation is not factorable. Kaya ang nature of roots are not real. Okay class, another lesson is the sum of the roots and product of the roots. Okay, so paano ba natin kinukuha ang sum of the roots of the quadratic equations? Okay, we are going to use the Formula, x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So, ibig sabihin ng x sub 1 and x sub 2, ito yung mga roots natin after, after using the factoring or yung different ways natin to get the solutions of the quadratic equations. So, sila yung tinatawag nating roots or yung values ng x. Okay, so we are going to use the formula x sub 1 plus x sub 2 or we may use negative b over a. Okay, so let us try this example. We have x squared 
plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So first, let us determine the a, b, and c. Okay? So we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, c is equal to 3. So we may now use negative b over a to find the sum of the roots. Okay? So our b is positive 4 and our a is positive 1. So... By substituting these values to our formula, we may now have negative 4 over 1. So that is equivalent to negative 4. Okay? So that is the sum of the roots, negative 4. Or we may use the formula x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So try nga natin class kung magiging Pareho lang din ang magiging sagot natin. So, first, we're going to factor x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. And that will give us quantity x plus 3 times quantity x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, we're going to equate uh, both factors to 0. So, we have x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to negative 1. So, ang x sub 1 natin is negative 3. At ang ating x sub 2 is negative 1. So, when we combine this, the, it will give us negative 4. So, that is the sum of the roots. As you can see, class, pareho ang value kung ang gagamitin natin is using the b over a or yung x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So, walang pinagkaiba, class. Mamili kayo kung ano ang gusto ninyo dyan na mas madaling paraan para sa inyo. Okay, so let us try this. Another one, we have product of the roots. So for this, we're going to use the formula x sub 1 times x sub 2 or yung c over a. Okay, so we will going to use the same equation x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So since ang ating x sub 1 is negative 3 at ang ating x sub 2 is negative 1, so pag pinag-multiply natin yun, that will give us positive 3. So, yan yung x sub 1 times x sub 2. So, try naman natin kung ang lalabas na, na product of the roots using c over a ay positive 3 rin. So, try natin. So, ang c natin is 3. Ang a natin is 1. So, 3 divided by 1, that is equivalent to 3. So, pareho lang class. So, mamili lang kayo kung anong gusto nyo dyang method ang gagamitin to be able to get the sum of the roots or product of the roots. Okay, class? So, ganyan lang kadali ang ating lesson. Huwag kakalimutan, mag-aral mabuti, at mag-subscribe sa aking channel para maging updated kayo sa susunod na lesson. Okay, goodbye class!